Hey everyone, I'm Marty and I've just seen a tutorial on how to manual using a manual machine. So I'm doing a video blog of my progress and also for myself so I can see my posture and see how I go. So basically I've already read, uh, looked at a heap of YouTubes and worked out what I need to do. So if you look at the blog above you'll see all that. Um, one of the first steps it says is to find a good practice location. So that's today's main goal. I live on the north side of Brisbane. So it's quite flat around here. My steepest hill is probably Gateway Bridge. Um, but I need to find somewhere like a parking lot that's got a slight grade, no traffic, and quite close to my house. So it's easy to get to so I don't lose focus. So I thought I might give Kedron Brook a go. It's a few blocks from my place. And I thought the on and off ramps might be a good location. So let's go for a ride on Kedra and Brook and see if I can find a good place to go and um, see how I go. But also while I'll be doing that, uh, once I find a good, like, good location, I'll do a baseline to see how I, how I um, to see how good my form is right now. Um, I'll also try my left foot and right foot forward, see if I can find that dominant foot. Um, also looking forward um, for my bike setup, I've got a dual suspension bike and I'm wearing clips. Um, I won't be trying anything too extraneous today. I just try and focus on keeping my eyes forward, um, popping down, going backwards, trying my left foot and right foot and just see which seems more comfortable and, and that'll be a good start for today. So if I can achieve those three, three or four things, that'd be, a, that'd be a win for today. Okay, let's see how I go. So um, that'll do for today's practice. I achieved everything I wanted to. I actually found a, a street um, not far from my place, probably about 400, 500 metres. And as you can see, it's got this nice um, slope to it. So I suck a little, a little dip, a um, little roller coaster. So it's really great. You can practice going down my right up the other side, come back. It's just like a half pipe, it's awesome. So, tick, near my place. Tick, gentle slope. Tick, it's like a U pipe, so it's fantastic. A little bit of traffic here, but you can see them coming both ways, and it's off the major streets, so I can handle that. Okay, so, so tick, I found my practice location. So, second challenge was to find my dominant foot. So basically, as you see in the video, um, I basically tried riding with my butt in the back position and then then I tried my right foot forward and my left foot forward to see which is more comfortable and yeah you can definitely tell straight away that the right foot's definitely more comfortable so as you go if you go a bit faster you can feel comfortable whereas on your left foot you feel really nervous and unsteady um, once you start doing some slaloming you can definitely tell definitely right foot forward left foot back and then once you start slaloming and then little jiggies in between to sort of get unbalanced you can definitely tell I'm way more comfortable on my right foot forward 
So right foot's my dominant foot, um, opposite to skiing and surfing and whatnot. So tick, dominant foot forward found. Um, so once I did that, I then set up for a few runs to see my baseline. So also, a good thing with this practice location, you can actually get four or five pops in, so it's pretty much perfect. Um, so as you can see in the video, um, I'm only holding it for you know, a couple of metres, or not even half a second. So what I found straight up was, speed's really not your friend, um, go slower. It's more about holding the position in time, rather than doing it fast. So I think I've learned to focus on next is basically um, right foot forward, drop and drop back, um, slow speed is good, and let's go from there, but we ticked a lot of things off today, so I'm really happy with that, let's go home and watch the video and see what my posture was like.